Hello everybody, welcome to Unigawea Shamanism. So we are going to do a runes reading for fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. How y'all doing? Come on in, sit on down, join the club, you know what I'm saying? Um, could be somebody specific to you with the initial M, okay? Uh, could be yours as well, okay? Fire signs. What's going on with the fire signs? Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Can I get some overview cards, please? I'm telling you, M is significant to somebody. First, middle, or last initial. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, fire signs. Cards keep wanting to flip upside down there, fire signs. Hmm. What's going on? N could be significant as well. Um, P could be significant as well. Uh, I am hearing something about, uh, for a fire sign, they saw, they thought something was going to last, like maybe you or they take it how it resonates, um, thought something was going to last forever, but it's not because where is it? I got that energy off of this. Okay. Um, so, so you would almost think that looks like a infinity sign if it wasn't uh, triangled, right? But then if you think about it, it's actually an hourglass. I hear that the time is up for this connection. Okay, is what I'm hearing, fire signs. Take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? Okay. All right, so let's see what we got going on so far, okay? I'm gonna do this a little different than I did the uh, water signs. Cause dude, water signs, I literally spent like over an hour on that shit. It just was like hell of a freaking shit going on up in there. Um, oh, snap. Y'all might be dealing with the water sign, okay? Uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius might be dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Because you got two of the same cards. Okay, um, so uh, this could have been an ex of yours. Okay, so I'm just going to lay it out there because I'm looking at these cards. This is for my low vibrational. <laughs> what is up, fire signs? What is up right now? Are we just low vibing? Come on. Get it together. What the hell is this? So, um, your first card out. So, I feel like they're, I feel a lot of, like, Veruca energy. I want it now. Like, entitlement, okay? Um, maybe you were expecting a gift from somebody. I feel like this ex of yours, um was who you were expecting this gift from, okay? I do feel that uh, this was a very off-balance connection. Um, there was no equal give and take. Uh, this was a relationship for sure because I'm seeing partnership right here and I see the X at the top. Um, I feel like this person was very generous. <laughs> Generation <laughs> was very generous and I'm, I'm not feeling like you were. Or, I mean... I'll flip it to match your story, but this this is just what I'm getting. Um, is that this is the fire sign low vibe in right now? Okay, so um, this person was a very generous, kind, loving, equal give and take, a very balanced person, and I see that you tried to throw off their balance. Um, I'm looking at this ex again, and I'm hearing that you didn't like the fact that they were balanced, that they wanted equal give and take, that they wanted a serious relationship or partnership, and that they were a kind and generous person. Okay. Um, I see that you, oh geez, I see that there could have been some, uh, fraud going on, like you could have stole things from them. I see that there was a lot of manipulation going on, and I do see that with this ex, um, you have been excommunicated from this person. I'm feeling for some of you, they may have blocked you, for some of you chose to not talk to you anymore, okay, uh, then you got death roll, okay? Uh, you decided to roll the dice 
on this connection. Um, you wanted them to be open, open-ended on your side, but you chose to shut off all loving and caring on your side. Uh, you figured that this was a faded event and you could continue to manipulate this person um, forever is what I'm hearing. Like you literally thought they would never catch on to anything is what I'm hearing. Um, and so you kind of like rolled the dice. You took a chance on it. Uh, you tried to keep this person in the dark with manipulation, with uh, secrets. I'm hearing cheating and lying as well. Um, you tried to stop this person from walking their spiritual path, from um, living in their truth, from walking their destiny, okay? Well, you try to take what was destined from them away from them, okay? Um, and then you're getting this card. So I'm hearing you reap what you sow, okay? You put this person in bad health. Uh, oh my God, here we go again with the office because I'm hearing you thief of joy, okay? <laughs> Um, you were a thief of joy. Uh, this person was held in high honor. Uh, I do see that you were the type of person that it was like when this person had resources, you used their resources to get what you wanted, okay, which is horrible. That was how you got your victory. And sadly enough, um, screwing this person over, taking their light, putting them in bad health, um, actually made you feel a sense of wholeness, a sense of um, victory, okay, over this person, that's, this is getting really dark really fast, okay, and then this is at the bottom of the deck, I'm telling you, this is a fire sign who I'm hearing was dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, okay, I see that you tried to block this person's intuition, uh, you were very cold, uh, very emotionless, okay, and you try to stop them from accomplishing their dreams, okay, from having a rebirth, because I'm hearing the more that they hoped, the more that they dreamed, the more that they created, the more that you feared that they would no longer be there, okay, um, your next card, so the letter M could be an X, okay, of yours, you could be the X with the letter M, okay, in your name, uh, you got Manaz, okay? Uh, I feel like this relationship was very inhumane. There was a lot of controlling there. Um, a lot of arguing. A lot of manipulation. Uh, there was like no cooperation in this relationship. I'm hearing that it got to the point where you couldn't even hide the fact that you didn't even love this person. Truly love them, let alone were you a friend to them um because i'm hearing you you never properly knew how to love i'm feeling a lot of immaturity here um you could be part of a organization a cult a society i'm seeing as well okay uh the next card i'm feeling that you just absolutely torched this relationship um your vision was very skewed you were jealous because you do not have the creativity. Um, you could not inspire people the way that this person you were in a relationship did. Uh, and you did not realize that what you did is you blocked your own blessings and abundance, okay? And that is why you're not having any improvement at this time. Um, this is your next card. So whether you are a female or a male, but I am seeing femininity, so I'm feeling like this is a female. Um, could be a male in his feminine energy, though. Um, I'm feeling like this was a very immature, catty person, a person that liked to shit talk, a person that liked drama. I'm feeling this person could have a drug or alcohol addiction or both, um, or multiple, okay? Um, and some serious mental issues that they might need to see a doctor and get medicine for, okay? Um, that they might have been hiding for other people. I'm seeing fertility, but I feel like this person I'm speaking of uh, may not be very fertile as far as having children, okay? Uh, and this is 
for a reason. Now, I do feel like sh this person I'm talking about might have a child or two, okay, or vice versa, okay. This could be, you could be a fire sign dealing with a water sign that was like this. But, um, this person was trying to have a regeneration and rebirth off of you. Um, if this made sense, whenever you hurt, it made them feel healed, which, I mean, Lord, baby Jesus, go get some help, lady, man, sir, sir, ma'am, whoever you are, Lord bless. But I do see that, uh, you tried, you tried to act like you were on their level, but this is kind of how it looked like they were up here and you were down here and that pissed you off, right? Because you tried so hard to be them walk their path or be their equal but um this was a divine being and you are a very karmic person um you tried to keep them stuck in cycles but i'm seeing the word year this is their year that you are not going to be able to do that anymore is what i'm hearing uh this is the completion of the cycle that you had with this person and i am hearing that you are lucky that you even had the chance that they graced you with their presence, let alone um, you got to have an actual relationship with this person that they loved you or that they cared about you at all. Um, they are going to be harvesting confirmation, the seeds that they have planted, and you are going to be re re reaping what you sow as they are reaping rewards is what I'm hearing. One more card, please. Fire signs. I was kind of hoping this would be a good reading, but apparently we're just, we're not doing it. Um, oh, shit. Here we go. Uh, so, this card came up upside down, okay. The letter F could be significant, could be an initial. <clears throat> so, I feel that you were aware that this person eventually found out and caught on to what you were doing. And... I see a lot of spell work being done, uh, a lot of uh, mirror magic. I'm seeing like candles lit. I'm hearing like chanting. I'm seeing uh, someone like writing their own spells out, you know, to specify, to make sure that they got things right to sabotage this person, but it did not work, okay, um, because it was upside down. I do see that you tried to attack their throat chakra, then do multiple... Um, crown chakra and third eye attacks on this person you tried to cut off their communication you tried to mess with their intuition try to block it is what i'm hearing and you try to manipulate their mind body and soul is what i'm hearing uh, so that they can no longer be inspirational to other people because you were jealous of the fact that this person is a very inspirational person okay damn PSA, can some more like high vibrational fire signs watch please? Because like this is the courtship. I see that this person, I see that after a while of treating this person like shit, um, this person may have ended up meeting or finding or seeing somebody else that they might have seen as somebody that has the characteristics of the, a person that they would want to be in a relationship with the way they would want to be treated um and i see that you were pissed okay um you were super angry um and did anything and everything you could to sabotage this connection okay and you sat back in concern because um Every time that you would try to manipulate this person, hurt this person, um, God would shine his light through, okay? And they're, like I always say, um, without cracks, light would never be able to shine through in the darkest places, okay? So God made sure that all those cracks, all those breaks, while you were trying to break that person, uh, were kept open so that he could shine his light in and make this person aware of what you were doing and what kind of relationship they should be in is what i'm hearing i shit i guess it should be a freaking fire sign love reading what the fuck uh, anyway um yeah and god is not allowing you any longer to block this union um i do 
see uh, that you could have a court case coming up or going through a court case currently. Um, if you, and please let me stop and say that like if you were a high vibrational uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius, you might as well just, I mean, well, unless you are dealing with a, another fire sign, um, I could stay on here. You might, there might be something in here for you, but I'm, I want to say that like, if you were a fire sign that is not low vibrational and you are not dealing with another fire sign, this is not your reading for show. Okay. Um, yeah, this is a mature woman. So, um, I'm feeling that this could have been a, what did I say? A water sign man. So Cancer Pisces Scorpio and uh, a mature woman that is a Leo Aries Sagittarius um, because now we're getting the mature woman over here. Okay. Uh, so this water sign was younger than you. Um, but I do see that uh, you're going to be having a court case coming up here, mature woman, uh, if you do not already. Um, this mature woman could have also been trying to at attack a main female um which i'm hearing could be the counterpart to this water sign um because they are both official people um i'm looking at two two and i'm thinking of the number two 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 and i'm thinking of soulmates so uh so fire signs you could have seen that uh these people were meant to be i'm seeing like like divination spying like readings getting done um, that could have been how you found out about this, okay? Or maybe you will find out about this. Um, but you are a thief. A thief of joy. A thief of money, I'm hearing. And the worst part is you would steal from this person and you would sit back and, like, talk about it and laugh. Like, you would think it was freaking funny, okay? And that shit is not funny to do hurtful things and fucked up things to people. Especially people that are good to you, okay? Um, this person, <laughs> these people that you're attacking are not only official people, but they're high honor, okay? Um, also, this could be uh, for a... Because I'm getting a couple different stories, but this could be a uh, fire sign woman that was with a water sign man that was like an official, like a police officer, a uh, crap, I can't think right now, but jobs that are official, okay. Um, I also see there was a main male involved in this as well, so this could have been your I'm hearing your side hoe so so you and the water sign broke up and this was the person you were cheating on them with and this person helped you sabotage this person after you guys broke up I'm hearing as well um, but you won't be allowed to do this anymore because this person is too transformed um, for you to get them in the frequency to where you can manipulate or bind them at all or uh, sabotage their pathway because as you see they're having a transformation and god is shining his light to let them know uh where their path is going to lead them okay and that is to a privileged lady which i'm hearing you are not a privileged lady um and a lover this is going to be um a god sent relationship for this person um and there's going to be nothing you can do about it okay uh, so I do see that there's a 10. This is the end of the cycle. And now these people are going to be together and you are going to need to move on. Okay, is what I'm hearing. I'm telling you, this has to be a female. So judgment is coming down upon this female because the judge is looking at this female and just going, what the fuck, bitch, right? Um, and there's a concern card again. So I do see that... Um, that you're trying to keep this male concerned, trying to keep him in his thoughts. I'm seeing 33, so uh, you could have been doing this to not only a divine being, high honor, and official person, but an ascended master as well. Uh, this is a person who has mastered their self, okay? Um, you were expecting, I see, this person to come back. I hear that they've left, okay? Because the family room is empty, and I'm hearing that for some of you, this won't apply for everybody, um, you might be losing a home because of the fact that this person left, okay? But um, 
unfortunately you will not be getting sudden wealth and this will not be your lucky day I'm hearing because this man was too mature for you you needed to mature okay um, I see that this person could be thinking about moving away from you to get away from you okay and this is going to put you in despair and you are going to be in despair regardless because this is what you wanted for this person um, I'm seeing that maybe you expected this person to propose to you maybe you expected a marriage and you expected some money, but you can expect to go to prison. Um, I am seeing that one of your friends might have ratted on you as well. So uh, I might want to thank your friends. You got some good ones, right? Um, okay, let's see what else we got. Fire signs. How did this reading turn this way? Fire signs. What do we have for Leo, Aries, Sagittarius? Uh, yeah. I, oh, 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 oh. Tell me, dang, dude. I guess I pissed a fire sign off, right? Um, so for one, the divine is not going to allow you to do this anymore to this person, okay? Um, <clears throat> damn. Uh, but uh, you had no authority to do what you did, okay, is what I'm hearing. And because of that, um, you will get some extremely harsh judgment. Um, this isn't going to be allowed to happen anymore and you are going to be getting communication of that um i'm hearing from an authority figure from an official uh that you aren't going to be able to bother this person anymore i'm feeling like restraining order vibes okay fire signs whoa damn oh hold on that went upside down my bad my bad okay come on now Fire signs. Yeah. Damn, boo. Fire signs, please. I'm not going to take that. Fire signs. Okay. Okay. I'm all, I think that's enough of that. No, I'm just kidding. Um, anyways. So, uh. So, like I said, uh, you have no authority to treat people like that, um, and the divine is not going to allow that anymore, I'm hearing. Also, I see that you might have been trying to get this person arrested, um, maybe an investigation, have the authorities call on them, but I am being told that uh, that is actually going to be your fate because you wish on somebody else. I see that you're a very heartless person, that uh, you really had no love for this person. You were just a user and a liar to this divine masculine. I'm, t Or you could be a divine masculine that was doing this to somebody. Take it as it resonates. Um, like, you have no harmony and balance. Um, also, I feel like you're very unaware, like you're very uh, childish, you're very young-minded, like you're not very educated, and I'm not saying like you didn't go to school and get a 4.0 GPA, I'm saying like you are emotionally uh, handicapped, is what I'm hearing, okay? Um, you are not grounded, you are very erratic and crazy right now, like you're having a lot of outbursts and flipping out and all that crap, um, and I feel like I see this red... And Archangel Michael is super pissed at you because Archangel Michael is actually a person who is watching over this sign that you did this to. Um, as well as I'm hearing that you are a very masculine feminine. You do not know how to get in your feminine energy or balance feminine and masculine. Okay, you... We're waiting on this miracle, okay? Because when this person left, you kind of figured, oh, they'll come back. Oh, they'll deal with me, um, whatever. But uh, you will not be delighted to know that, like, this person is literally never going to come back to you is what I'm hearing, okay? I'm going to make fire signs super short, okay? Because, I don't know, I don't like this energy. I don't like being in this energy. This is not... This is not cute. I don't care if you're a guy or a girl to, to like hurt somebody who loved you and then act like you love somebody. Yeah, you thought it was fucking funny. That shit's not fucking funny to treat people like that. You're a dick. Like straight up. I don't care if you're a guy or a girl. You're an asshole to, uh, to shit on somebody like that. Okay. 
Um, I did see that you were trying to make this person indecisive, and I see that pretty here, here pretty soon, they are going to be blossoming in intuition is what I'm hearing, and to the point where you are not allowed to make them think or feel anything. Um, this doubt is going to diminish, but I do see that you, there is, I'm seeing that there is literally no doubt is what I'm hearing that this sun your happiness will be completely locked away because um, you choose to be low vibrational, you choose to be manipulative is what I'm hearing, um, and you choose to lock away your childhood trauma versus healing it and your life trauma. So because of that, you will not have happiness in your life, not to mention that all this that you did to that person, okay? Um, this person is very disciplined, okay? Very calculated and very smart, so I don't know what you were thinking. Um, I do feel that some of your friends were involved on hurting this person, attacking this person, and you're very judgy. You're very blamey. Um, you literally have done all this shit to hurt this person, and you literally are taking, like, you never take accountability for your shit. It's always them, 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 everybody else. You, old girl. Because I can feel that you're older than me. I'm 31, okay? About to be 32 this month. Aquarius, okay? Woo. So, um, at a, I'm going to come at it as a, at a logical approach. And hopefully you can understand this with your immature ass. Um, take responsibility for your shit. Like, if you do something, be like, yeah, I did that. Um, like, you're over there kiki, ha ha and laughing to your friends and shit. And your little husband, boyfriend, whatever he is. Um about how you hurt this person and how you did all this shit to this person and like you can take the blame when it comes to that but god forbid that like when it comes to that actual person you can be like yeah i'm a piece of shit and i did this to you and like i take accountability like take accountability grow up you know what i'm saying um and because of this i feel like this person was nice enough to forgive you uh but please don't get it twisted i feel that this person is forgiving you to uh like for their self, not for you, okay? Um, this person will never trust you again. I do feel that you want this person to trust you again, but it's for manipulative purposes. You want them to trust you and take you back so you can fuck them over again. Um, I also hear that you try to ruin their trust to the point where they would never leave you, never get in another relationship so you could keep leeching off of them. <laughs> That's not going to happen, doll. Um, that's all I'm saying. Because uh, there's going to be a, a very swift change, okay? I'm also hearing, like, confirmation on that childhood wound because this little fan right here uh, reminds me of those little wind windmills that you hold and you blow on them when you were little kids. So, like, you're very childish. You need to grow up. Um, instead of worrying about this person's purpose and what they're doing, you should probably be thinking about what the hell your purpose is and what you're here to do. And I am hearing that because of the way you treated this person so malicious and cold and heartless that all of your relationships are going to fail. So I hope you get ready for a lot of loveless, horrible, shitty relationships because of what you've done is what I'm hearing, okay? Which I mean, personally, I don't feel bad for you because I have no respect for people like this. I've dated people like this and that that's some serious, like, piece of shit vibe to me. I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, you aren't going to be able to, to uh, manipulate this person. I see that you are stalking them and watching them, but they're seeing from a higher perspective right now. And um, you're not going to be able to overpower God because God is going to show this person who and what you are if he hasn't already. Um, like I said, this person is going through a rebirth, through a transformation, and they're very strong. I'm telling you, it's a freaking water sign. It's a fucking water sign that you fucked over. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you know, fucking over a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anyways, um, this person's having a rebirth and transformation. Uh, they are going to be free, and there's nothing that you're going to do. This person is a leader. Whether you try to stop them or not, they are who they are. And you see that in the background? They have God and the angels with their eyes on them the same way you do. And they are seeing not only what that person is doing and how they are handling it and treating you through the situation, but vice versa. And they're not very happy with you right now. Um, this person is going to be at peace while you are just going to sit there and be a baboon's ass is what I'm hearing. 
Damn. Baboon's ass, bruh. What number is that? Oh, shit, because you wanted to be number one, but now you're going to be number nine is what I'm hearing. Oh, my God, bruh. You tried to blind this person, uh, make them think that you were a person that you could be prospect for family vibes, uh, but I see that you're not. Um, you try to blindfold them to the fact, make them think you're beautiful when you were seriously a ugly person. And I'm saying that internally because I feel like looks don't matter very much. It's about what's inside the person, okay? <laughs> because this this uh, person is going to jump through your mirror magic and your illusions into light. They are free. And there's nothing you can do because the horse is going to gallop away. Um, see how that horse is white? That's purity. This person's gone through a rebirth of purity. And there's nothing you can do. Doors are going to open for them. Magical doors. And you're going to be standing there looking like a dodo bird is what I'm hearing. Okay? Because this person is a creation of God. And no matter how many snakes try to wrap around this person, they are going to get away from you. Okay? Because their ancestors are helping them freeze you out. And they are protected and guarded right now. And this person is a warrior. Um... They're very smart. They're going to be free and happy, very playful, and um, they could be starting a family with somebody else, the same family that you promised you would be worthy of, and I hear that you weren't. Um, somebody who is hardworking, and I'm seeing uh, the moons, uh, someone who might be a goddess or god of the moon, okay, as well. Uh, somebody that is a god is what I'm hearing. Someone that is authentic, okay, being told to put that card back that's weird um this person is going to continue to stand in their power um i hear that they have the goddess hathor protecting them right now and there is nothing that is going to break down the barriers of god and everybody on that person's spiritual team as well as i'm seeing the number 11 so this could be a twin flame union you tried to break up um this person's ancestors are protecting them too so I mean, that's just the dumbest thing I think I've ever heard. But who am I to judge? Not God, that's for sure. I know that. Believe that. Okay. Fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And I'm hearing that stupid song. The once upon a time, long ago, I was a hoe. And I'm admitting it, and I feel like feel like you're a hoe and that was part of what the problem was okay um i see that you try to be bold and make a move toward this person and whether this person blocked you or the divine blocked you you were blocked either way okay um you could have been dealing with the libra as well uh because there is not going to be a win-win outcast for you uh your commitment was being tested and now you will get judgment, okay? Um, it is time to release the negative patterns that you have been using to attack this person. And I see a water sign right here. It could be a Scorpio that you were doing this to, okay? Let me mix these cards around a little bit. I'm hearing that also thing. You and your loved ones are safe is upside down for you. Um, so you could have cancer in your chart. Or uh, this could have been cancer you did that too. Uh, you could have Capricorn in your chart as well because I just saw a Capricorn card. Okay. Fire sign reading. Fire signs. Fire signs. Um, so I felt, I feel like when you communicated with this person, you were very two-faced, you were very manipulative, okay? You made them think you were one way, but you were really another way. Um, whenever you showed them the real you, it was not the real you, it was the you that you actually, um, embodied that was someone else's energy is what I'm hearing. So you weren't even the real you, you were the real somebody else, does that make sense? Um, you are 100% in your south node right now, okay? You are living in the past, and that is what's holding you back. Um, I'm going to have to make a 
No, we'll be done before then. Okay, one more card, please. Fire signs. Thank you. I'm going to put that back because I don't really understand that. Especially in this reading. I'm not going to lie. Nope. Not doing it. Thank you. Okay, and then you got nothing will come in this situation. So no matter what you do or say, um, things are not going to go in your favor because you are being deceptive. Uh, I feel that you are trying to manipulate blind and do black magic on somebody. And um, that's not the way you get what you want. That's like... That's like walking in every store when you want something and just stealing it, right? Because you don't want to pay for it or because uh, you have like a little klepto obsession. Um, you're going to go to jail, you know what I'm saying? Like, get off your ass and work for it. Like, if you love somebody, if you want something, um, if you want money, get off your ass and work for it. Don't steal from people. Don't lie to people. Don't deceive people. Don't break people. The thing that I respect the least in this world is a person that um that literally alters somebody's idea of love because they are broken so they break other people like that is just so disgusting and disrespectful like how dare you ruin somebody's idea of love you know what i'm saying um yeah you are a oh let me be sweet like um fucking sour patch kid bro okay um but it's like if it was the other way around like if it was sweet on the outside and then you got in the middle and it was so sour you just wanted to like puke and spit it out kind of thing okay um a lot of false promises this person is not going to come back uh you're you lied like a lot of empty words empty promises a lot of bullshit okay um you cannot go back to yesterday again confirmation this person is not going to come back so you need to move on with your future okay um, I see that you are prying right now. You're curious as to, um, where this person is headed, who they're headed to. And I am being told to tell you, fire signs, to mind your fucking business. And those were the exact words of the divine. Mind your fucking business. Worry about yourself because it looks like to me, like, you've got a court case going on. You're about to go to jail. You've got a lot of emotional issues to heal. You should probably be worried about yourself. Worried about your morality. Um, you have no morals or standards. You need to learn how to love yourself before you can love others. You need to learn how to treat people the way that you want to be treated. Because I get the impression I'm talking to somebody that if somebody shit on you, stole from you, lied to you, cheated on you, you would lose your fucking shit. But you're doing this to this other person and expect them to just sit there and take it. You know what I'm saying? Um... You have been getting a lot of signs and synchronicities to stop doing what you're doing, but you refuse to listen. And because of that, you're going to be falling, falling apart, falling down, uh, falling in jail. Because I'm seeing those those stripes on her socks. So that's jail to me. I'm telling you, you're going to jail. Hope you look good in stripes, boo. Um, anyway, your advice was super shitty. You probably should have followed the actual good advice if you ever got any about what to do in your situation because now you have no idea uh where you're going what's going on i feel a lot of anxiety and depression here as well you had a time and chance to wake up and smell the coffee and you decided not to it was your moment and you lost it so sit the fuck down is what i'm hearing okay um you can keep stalking watching and being curious but i feel like this person has blocked you out of their life for a reason um, I'm getting that you're very, like, like, you've got issues, you're a weirdo kind of thing. And I'm not saying this to be mean or judgy, this is what I'm hearing. Um, you keep trying to dig up things on this person, you go around uh, getting readings on this person, asking about this person, lurking in the shadows, driving around their house, that's freaking creepy. Um, like, if you want to be curious, I feel like you should, like, be curious and find, like, a like a new subject to study or I don't know man but I don't know you're creeping me out I don't know who you are but you're creeping me out bro for real for real like ugh. um I'm hearing that song by Mac Dre these are things that make you go ugh. you know what I mean like ugh. and then I'm and then I'm like watching Mac Dre do the fizz face the look on his face like he smells some piss type shit is what I said I think he said Excuse the language. Fire signs. Fire signs. 
Okay, fire signs. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What would you like them to know? Thank you. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Thank you. That's, that's, that's it. So, there I was, right? No, I'm just playing. Um, anyways. <clears throat> so, I feel like this card is upside down because, um, you could be a very beautiful person. I'm not sure what you look like. This is a general reading. But, uh, you don't have any love and beauty for yourself. Like, you don't think you're beautiful. You don't love yourself. You may walk around. I'm hearing you walk around acting like you're the shit. Like, you're hot shit. Like, you're beautiful. Like, you're God's gift to men. But you're, like, absolutely the opposite is what I'm hearing. Um, you're not very inspirational. Um, you actually are very cringy. Like, you make people cringe. You make people be like, what the hell is wrong with this person, okay? And like I said, your heart chakra is completely closed off. Like, you are a very heartless person, okay? Um, there was no passion in this relationship, so I don't understand why you're trying to hurt this person or hold on. Okay, that's just freaking weird to me. Oh, I get it. Because you were harvesting their energy. Because you were depleting them. Because you enjoyed stirring up shit in their life. You enjoyed uh, fucking with their harmony. With their balance. With their peace. Wow. Um, oh, yeah. And, of course, it's always nice to benefit off their prosperity, right? To uh, take from them. To steal from them. And I do see that you were doing love spells on this person. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that, I want to, like, asking for a friend, how did that work out for you? I mean, because I can feel it, I can feel how it worked out for you, because, um, I'm feeling that you're not with this person, you might not even be talking to this person anymore, um, okay, these wanted to come out in reverse, so, uh, you are very fake, you are not authentic, in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I also feel that you may be a spiritualist. I'm hearing that you may be a spiritualist. Or you may have a business being a fake spiritualist. And why I say a fake spiritualist is because that is the throat chakra color. So you are literally up on a platform or doing readings or running a business. And you are lying. False communication. False messages is what I'm hearing. You won't have a victory because people are going to see you for who you are. Because when people do things like that to others, um, God presents it in a pretty fucked up way. Like, if you think you fuck them over, wait till you get fucked up because it's going to be bad. Um, you need to let go of this situation. You sit and act like the damsel in distress. You act like you're so sad trying to fuck with this person's uh, mind. Like you love them or you miss them, but you're a liar. So let go is what I'm hearing. Um, because you're actually making this person's ancestors very angry. And you are pissing God the fuck off is what I'm hearing, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Fire signs, thank you. Yeah, on this platform, uh, you try to act like you are a good person. Like you're a happy person. Like you're a real person. Um, like you give a shit, but you don't. You're a freaking liar, okay? You try to act like you have all this knowledge and you are a mystic and you are none of these things is what I'm hearing. Um, the only studying I'm hearing you do is to steal other people's information, content, or ideas. Um, I'm also hearing that you are a very weak-minded and weak-souled person as well. Um, you have no real and true wisdom, no wisdom of the divine, that is, and you are not a sensual person. You are a cold, I'm hearing that song, Cold-Hearted Bitch by the Jets, and the only confidence you get is off of the spell work you do, draining people of their sacral chakra and solar plexus, their creativity, but I do want to let you know that you do not have psychic protection at this time, okay? You won't be able to harvest off this person financially or spiritually anymore, um, you are not a healer, you're not healing people, you are a fake, you are a liar, you have no heart, you are cold-hearted as shit, you are broken, and you refuse to heal is what I'm hearing. Um, this person and this path is not your destiny, so, uh, 
you need a nap and a sandwich. I feel like you might be indulging in drugs, alcohol, things like that. You're not a very peaceful person, okay? Um, you could have Taurus in your chart. It could be dealing with the Taurus as well. Like I said, you're in some kind of cult or organization as well that has been helping you do this. You've been putting this person in bad health without even giving a rat's ass about it. And making them think that this was going to be a fertile, prosperous relationship when it was not. You had no intention of that. And I see that you tried to enter this person's dream state to hurt them, steal from them, or harm them. And uh, actually, you might be going through some serious night terrors right now. Okay? Um, your abundance is in reverse because of what you've taken from this person. Not just physically, but spiritually. Um, this person does not even want to be your friend, does not want to have anything blossom with you. I'm seeing, um, this person does not trust you and that trust will never come back no matter how much you want it to. And you will not be successful. You will be serving karma, um, for quite a long time. Okay. Um, your travel along your pathway is not going to be safe, uh, cause you're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations up in this bad boy. Um, your imagination and creativity is going to be blocked as well as your crown chakra and your third eye. And you won't be getting justice for all the lies that you have told because nothing has happened to you. You won't be getting any new beginnings and you will not be transforming. You will actually be demoting yourself because of what you've done is what I heard, okay? Um, I'm not really sure how to interpret... I feel like this is because uh, you and this person may have shared a home or talked about sharing a home and this is coming to an end if it has not already, okay? There is no love here. There is no romance here. You have ruined that and you never had it for this person in the first place. And honestly, um, you may not think that this is the best possible decision, this person leaving you, but honestly, for this card to come out, this person leaving you behind was the best possible decision. And you had no courage, but thankfully they did, okay? Because this person, after what you've done, deserves happiness. Because this person is divinely guided, but it came up upside down. And you are not, as much as you like to sit on your channel or whatever, your readings, whatever, and tell people that you're divinely guided, you are a fraud. Um, and you're not creative. Use other people's creativity and try to say it is yours, okay? Because you would like the glamorous life which you aren't going to get because it's in reverse. You are not a graceful person, okay? You are not joyful.